today we are making shishito peppers. And that's it, really. <laughs> All you need is the peppers. It's actually three ingredients. You need a really good olive oil and some good thick salt, coarse salt. Um, I really love this recipe because it's the easiest thing that you can bring to any party, anything that you could make. And what really inspired this is that we are actually gonna be traveling to Spain later this year. So this was a huge tapa that they always had. You'd see shishito peppers just everywhere. They'd have plates of them. And it really is the shining star of this. So what you need is either a really hot cast iron skillet or a grill. You can throw these on the grill, cook them up real quickly. But for now, it's gonna get a little loud because it's just a well-seasoned cast iron. We're not gonna add anything. The oil is used at the very end for dressing it. What, what oil did you put in there? Well, I just rubbed a little bit of ghee around the bottom of it, but oh, really, okay. this is just a seasoned cast iron. You don't need right. any oil. You're just gonna let them blister. So it's gonna get a little loud. <laughs> not that loud. <laughs> the anticipation. And with cast irons, be careful because the, the handles get yeah. really hot. So make sure you have a towel or something. Just gonna kind of lay them all flat. flat and let them do their thing. So this can take a little bit. It's okay that it's steaming. All right. And just let them cook down. I have a question. Oh, May. love questions. Are shishito peppers fiery? They can be, and it's so funny that you said that because even the farmer, I asked him about these, I'm like, so these are what rem looked like to me a little bit larger than the typical shishito pepper, like and some, sometimes they're really small, and he said, you know, it just depends, like, so he, he personally couldn't tell between the smaller ones or the larger ones, sometimes every now and then you just get a spicy one. <laughs> <laughs> but they're, I'd say they're more mild, they're definitely not like a jalapeno, um, and, just and the of, other thing that I remember is that when we have chefs, when you go to like certain restaurants, they'll garnish with a shishito pepper. Definitely. And, and so it's really wonderful if you're making like a fancy meat dish or something like that, you can add these, these as a garnish to mm -hmm. add that flavor. Yeah. Which would be great as well. Or great as is. <laughs> totally. <laughs> what about the simplicity here? <laughs> These are looking perfectly blistered. And they took like literally no time at all. Yes. I would say about three to five minutes a side. Oh, three to five minutes a side? I would say like two minutes a side, it felt like. It was like nothing. Here, shake them all in. Get those puppies in. Perfect. Oh, look at that. And now this is where the seasoning comes into play. A really mm. good olive oil that you just lightly drizzle it with, and then this thick rock salt makes it all come together and the flavors just really pop. So we're gonna let it, I would let it cool for like a hot minute before <laughs> you burn in your mouth. But I'm for this it. full recipe, you can go to currygirlskitchen.com. If you don't subscribe to our YouTube channel, subscribe, because every Wednesday we're posting fun new recipe videos like this that you can also catch on our Facebook, our Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, where we're sharing other fun mm, ideas wow. just like this for the summer. Yeah. Oh, this is like perfect. This is like a great picnic, everything. You guys, I'm all about the ease, and this is so easy. <laughs> I'm not spicy at all. No. They're just really? flavorful. Mmm. Mm. Good job, man. So Mike. good. Mm.